A healthy organ would be... Fresh air. And exercise. It's the different grocery stores that have healthy food choices. It's being outside and being active. What defines a healthy community is multidimensional. Uh, certainly, you, you jump to it as, are people healthy? Are they, you know, they, do they tend to live in a more healthy way than a, a way that leads to ill health? But it goes to primarily the, the kind of the, the social and cultural norms within the community. It's very important for the future of our careers, the future of our communities, and the future of our children. Cambia got involved because there is a tremendous opportunity here in this state to really transform the health profile of the people who live here. And again, so many organizations are already doing some very valuable things, but the rest of the community doesn't know about it yet. Eighty percent of chronic disease, cancer, uh, dementia, heart disease, and diabetes is avoidable. This isn't happening. <laughs> Nobody here tried to live to 100. They didn't go on the centenarian diet. They didn't try to exercise their way to health. It happened. It was a result of their environment. People are living eight to 10 years longer without dementia. They do so without depression, without heart disease and cancer, big killers in America. They don't have any special genes. There's some combination between the way they live and their environment that is yielding extraordinary longevity. He's already implemented these ideas in many other cities. And after two or three years, we see obesity dropping by double digits. We see smoking rates drop by as much as 30%. And what these people are doing better than us is they're avoiding the diseases that foreshorten our lives. The ideal healthy community to me is vibrant in every way. Our physical well-being is being taken care of, our mental well-being, our connections to each other, our ability to work and play in our environment, our ability to be productive and move society together. All of these things combine to make a healthy community. We've been selected to be the pilot county for the Blue Zones Project for the state of Oregon. And the core part of our mission, obviously, is to provide the services that take care of sick people, but we also want to invest in making our community a nicer place for all of us to live. And a place that encourages healthy lifestyles, that makes it easier to make a choice to be active, and also enhances the beauty of our community, makes it attractive to people to want to move here and live here and to build their business here and raise their family here. Once people start seeing some positive change, they, their culture shifts. They start self-identifying. We are a blue zone. We are a place where our kids are growing up healthy. And once you've given them that new lens to look at decisions that are made down the road, you start creating this self-perpetuating, this uh, self-fulfilling prophecy of well-being. And there's where the big difference comes in.